Hello, in this video I'll show you how to list an item from AliExpress using DS Titan. DS Titan is a manual eBay listing software which means that you will never get flagged for dropshipping policy breach because of an API issue. Go to dstitan.com, register new account using your Google account and log in. After you logged in, install Google Chrome extension. This extension is required for this software to work. Once you've done that, DS Titan will use its default preferences for pricing, UPC codes, templates, and bunch of other things. I will go through setting up a DS Titan for dropshipping in other video. To begin our listing, open up AliExpress item that you want to upload. Go to the right bottom corner and press import product. This will import your chosen product to DS Titan products page. Refresh DS Titan. Here we have our listing. DS Titan has almost every attribute that eBay listing page has. Also, just like in eBay's listing page, you can modify your listing here before uploading it to eBay. However, I don't like that because in my opinion, it's easier to set up DS Titan so that you need to do as few changes on eBay listing as possible. Those few changes will be made on eBay's listing page. Okay, now let's go to eBay. Click on sell and wait until the page and extension loads up. Just a quick side note, this extension works as long as the page is active. So for example, if you press export and then you open up a new tab on Google Chrome, DS Titan will stop working. It's very important to be on listing page when DS Titan is exporting a product. Choose the product that you want to export and click on export. Do not leave this page while DS Titan is doing its magic, otherwise the extension will stop working. Ok, so DS Titan has finished uploading, so let's see what he did. As we can see, DS Titan filled the title, made a custom label, chosen category, filled in UPC, condition, uploaded photos, filled in some item specifics, Uploaded our item description and filled in selling details. Now let's optimize listing for eBay's search algorithm. Title has been just copied and pasted. We want to change it to a better one so we could be ahead of other dropshippers. To create a title you can use Title Builder, Google or even eBay. Of course there is more advanced tools like Zik Analytics, however we will not use those tools in this video. When creating a title, best keywords should be in front and worst ones in the end. Make sure every word starts with capital letter. Create a title which describes item as much as possible. We will go in depth in this topic in other video. Subtitle is paid option that would increase item exposure and reach. However, it's best to use this option on hot products. I rarely use this option. Custom label is mostly used by tracking software. We will not track our listing, so we can delete that. Choose correct category for your listing. Most of the time eBay chooses a correct one automatically. However, you should double check it. If it's completely wrong, check suggested categories. If you still cannot find it, click on search categories and find one that suits listing the best. This item has no variations, so we will not go into that in this video. UPC is a barcode that every item has. However, we do not have a UPC code because we are drop shipping. So just uh, leave it at does not apply. Choose correct condition. In my case, the item is new, so I'll choose a new one. As we can see, Titan has already uploaded photos for us, which is awesome. What you should do is delete unnecessary photos and choose the best one for main photo. I'd like this one to be main because it's very descriptive and clean. Let's go on to item specifics. As you can see, we have required, recommended and additional item specifics. Required specifics have to be filled in. Recommended will have big impact on search engine optimization of the product. Additional has impact too, but not as huge as previous ones. Fill in as many as you can. Of course, when dropshipping, you will not know every detail about the item, so it's fine to leave some blank spaces. If you don't know exact specific, choose the closest one. Click on additional options and fill in as many as you can too. Once we are done, we can go on item description. Here we can see HTML code and standard view. Any changes you make on standard version will have an impact on HTML code and vice versa. 
I would recommend to create a template, save it to the as Titan, make it a default one, and when you are listing an item, you will have to change just one or two things. As you can see, I already have made my little clean template. I will leave this template in description, so please download it, change whatever you like, and use it. Now copy item description from AliExpress, paste it to a notepad, copy it again and paste it to the place you want to in your eBay's item description. These steps are critical, we have to clear the metadata of the text, so eBay will not detect that this text is from AliExpress. Many dropshippers are flagged because of this issue. Please make sure you clean it. Paste the item title here. Paste the package information here. Ok, description is looking good, so let's go to selling details. We will use fixed price format, item will start once we upload it, uh, correct the price if you need to correct it, uh, choose to accept best offers, this will increase your sales between 5 and 10%, uh, choose the correct quantity of the item that you want, click on sell as a lot if needed, you can see the explanation here, in, in my situation I have to check this box because there is 4 items in one lot. If you want, you can donate a percentage from your sales. Check this box for good karma. Fill in your PayPal address here, check if it's right. It will automatically upload in future listings, so you need to do it just once. Do not require immediate payment. By checking this box, you will lose about 5% of the sales. It is because some people like to buy several items at once. Sell tax is for US sellers, we will go into that in another video. Always accept returns and replacements. Offer highest return dates. eBay customers will be able to return item anyways even if you don't check this box, so there is no point. You'll be loved just a bit more by eBay's algorithm if you check these boxes. Choose your shipping. We are shipping from China so that's the services that we are going to use. Offer free shipping and count in the shipping cost in total price eBay algorithm will love you just a bit more once again. We don't care about package weight and dimensions because the shipping is free. Make an exclusion list, ban countries that you have no ability to ship to. As you can see that's my list. I recommend ban these countries if you are shipping from China. I will go into this topic in another video and I will give you a full pre-made exclusion list. Choose the item location. If you are dropshipping from China, do not have several locations on one eBay account. Choose one location and stick to it. Selling with several item locations can get you banned on eBay or your account can be flagged for dropshipping. Activate offer discount. This will increase sales by a few percent. Increase item quantity in order volume pricing to work. Once we are done, congratulations, you can click on list the item and item will appear on your active listings. I hope you enjoyed this simple yet effective tutorial on how to list an item from AliExpress to eBay using DS Titan. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content about eBay dropshipping and e-commerce, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.